If anybody's out there following, you know, account-based marketing or account-based sales or any of that stuff, kind of the new trends there, everything starts with that ideal customer profile. What does that ideal customer profile look like? And most people kind of do a very basic demographic view of this where they'll go into Hoover's or Zoom Info or any one of the list services and say, you know, I want to see anybody between 10 and 200 employees, uh, you know, in these industries and in this geographic region, right? And they get a list and then they just start hammering it. Um, you know, that's, that's the start of a list, but then you have to kind of take a look. I, I call that the kind of the level one information, right? Uh, but then you, tell, you have to take a look at the level two information. Like the, the information you might have to dig a little bit deeper on to, to see if they, are they really a good fit for us? Um, so stuff like categories would be something like uh, existing, existing solution, right? What are they currently using uh, that is comparable to yours? And, you know, or competition, right? There are certain competitors that we face. Some of our competitors, like we have a great story to tell again, so we can go right after it. Whereas other cases, we know that they're using a certain competitor and it's kind of like, ah, oh, crap, you know, they, they, yeah, if they're happy with them, it's probably not worth me spending my time. So they might look like a great account, perfect sweet spot, but if they're your number one competitor who's crushing it and has a super high retention rate, then you're not going to, you know, you, you know, you, it's not worth going after them, right? So there's that. And then there's like existing technologies, right? So it's uh, what technologies they're using. Um, there's certain technologies that our solutions, our services play very well into. So for instance, I use a tool, and this is something that your, your viewers can use. It's called Siftery, uh, S-I-F-T-E-R-Y. It's free. And what it is, it's just crowdsourced information on anybody's tech stack. So for instance, I can go in and I can type in a name of a company and it'll tell me who, like, who's using their product. So, you know, if I have a competitor, I can put them in and see all their customers. But I can also put their name in there and see what kind of, you know, what's their, what's their sales and BD stack, what's their marketing stack, what's their operations stack. And then look for those things. And if I find something that I can tie into, now make some phone calls and, and, and really segment my, you know, messaging into that. So, you know, an exercise that I work my clients through is let's identify every possible thing you can imagine that, that we can add that, that, that tiers out our accounts, right? So I, tier one, tier two, tier three. And then once you find out what that stuff is, now go look for accounts with that stuff, right? And you start with a basic demographic, but then you start calling around and maybe using various resources to really clean up that list and get a very tight list. I personally recommend everybody have a list of like top 25 where they have a list of top 25 accounts that they really, I call it their hit list. And I used to do this in my first, um, in my first company when we did outsource IT services, I would actually print out that list and carry it around with me because something that where like, if you, you know, I used to get into a lot of conversations with uh, partners, you know, and they would always, Oh yeah, why don't you go back to the office and see if you have any clients that might, you might think might be a good fit for us and I'll do the same thing. And you know, we'll, we'll swap leads and we'll start there and see where it goes. And nobody would ever go back to their office and give me any leads. Right. So what I would do is, okay, you want to share some business? Great. And I would just take out that list and be like, do you know anybody on this list? Cause these are the accounts that I want to get into. Right. And so with that list, those are, then you can put those on all the social listening tools out there. 